Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing and reviewing the character Invisible Woman, Sue Storm. We already did an Envoy video on her, you know, and went into some depth there, but the part I really want to look at here that changes between that video and this one is I'll focus a bit more on the stats, how she ranks up um, against everyone else in the game, and uh, really how she's kind of just playing into the Fantastic Four now that we know specific speeds, stuff like that. So anyway, I'll uh, just get into the information. Hopefully it helps you. You know, again, she's already in the game and you're probably using her a bit, but I wanted to give you my kind of character review, you know, how high tier is she, you know, and then looking at the Fantastic Four slash five in, you know, how that as a team, you know, how they look. So let's get right to it. all right so this is my invisible woman you can see i've already kind of boosted her up quite a bit uh the part that i want to kind of talk about here is just generally her abilities uh I, her basic you know is just attacking the primary target burying herself that's nice whenever she gets hit it's a counter so uh nothing too special there we'll talk about the t4 stuff at the end i don't want to get into that too much now Bending light, this one, this is just, it's her special, it's her turn two move. This is when she's really clearing all the negative effects. Stealthing how many of her people you have, depending, um, you know, the T4s you got into her. By the way, you have to put the T4s in this, otherwise the ability doesn't work. And then she applies some buffs to somebody and reveals whoever's got the highest HP. So that's what this one is. It's kind of uh, one of her critical moves. Typically turn two, get rid of all the negative buffs, um, expose one high HP character. Really nice tune. And if you notice, this is self and all allies, by the way. This is not Fantastic Four specific. So it can, you know, come into play in a, in, with other teams. You can plug and play her a little bit ultimate this is when she's actually giving her barrier this is the typically the first turn move uh it's you know applying offense down to all enemies uh and then uh, with the t4s and then uh the barrier so the 40 percent of her max health again that's limited by um, an individual cap per player of uh 30 percent of that character's health so it's kind of wonky a little bit but uh you know it's so those lower hp characters can only have so much barrier on them so yeah, I'm not going to get into whether I think that's a good idea or not for the game, but it's a balance issue, so I somewhat get it. Uh, her her passive, this is about uh, when anyone attacks Fantastic Four allies, she basically counters. And then if you do the T4s, you know, it's, uh, there's some additional damage there. But the other part of this is max health. Just 10% max health uh, or 20, if, depending if you got the T4s again. But... This is just kind of that counter. So it's really nice when, you know, the enemy's attacking any Fantastic Four um, ally with barrier. She's just countering, you know, it's just a boom, 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 boom. So, uh, and she's not a crazy heavy hitter, but it, you know, it's pretty nice. So uh, ever after looking at these abilities, let's just go uh, to the stats and then we'll jump into uh, specific uh, T4 discussions. All right, for those of you who have not seen this sheet before, this is my, you know, full every character in the game ranking for stats. Uh, the information, comes from msf.gg i know they're figuring out some of the formulas still but it gets you within a general you know range of how these characters are going to be so you know this is for all intents and purposes this is going to be good enough for you i think so um, i've highlighted in green the uh, other fantastic four uh, allies of her and then I, i'll have her in blue uh, that pops up so let's zoom in a bit here all right, so you can see her down at the 69th rank position. Uh, and the reason that's there is if I highlight her row, I've sorted by average rank. So she's got an average rank of 57th across the board. That's you know, speed, damage, armor, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, she comes in at, you know, and there's about 115, I think, characters in the game right now. Uh, 114, because Red Skull doesn't really count. So she's, you know, in that mid-tier range as far as all stats across the board. If you're looking at just health, it's 20th and, and actually before i go into that just understand this is currently based on level 70 seven yellow stars zero red stars t11 
now I have to say 1% Stark Tech because that's um, on msf.gg um, and then passive level four. And the reason I picked those ability levels and stat levels is because I think it's actually one of the more reasonable, um, reasonably attainable stats where it's like T12, T13. It's like, I don't wanna base on all that because you're not gonna be able to get every tune to that, but you could probably fairly easily get most tunes, if not all tunes to T11 in these ranges. So um, that's what these are based off of. So again, health, she comes in at 20, 91,000. It's awesome because it gives the barrier, but it also can be bad. And I've had this experience uh, where she stealths everyone but herself. So that's kind of like, oh, um, all right, I wanted it to go to Thing. I want Thing to be the highest self. And then if you had Red Star Store, it's like, ooh, no, it's definitely, he's not, you know, getting it. So that's a bit of a bummer, but you, you need it for the barrier. So it's like, okay, I guess. Uh, next up, damage. This is really, really low uh, down at the 102 range, so the counters aren't going to hit for much. So any T4 abilities that we're going to get into, it's going to like, mm, her base damage is pretty low. Armor, same thing, really low rank here. Uh, 1958, she's not, I mean, she's squishy as far as outside of the barrier. Uh, focus rank 25th, so that's nice because you know you want her to um, put the offense down up and uh, clear the clear the negative effects, all that kind of things. Uh, so 25th, top you know top portion of the game. That's something I like seeing. And then resistance is pretty high too, so I like that. Uh, you know, 44th. Yeah, I'd like it to be a little bit higher, but I guess the barriers there to help you know with damage and the things. But I just I don't want those buffs being removed from her, so. Speed 53rd, you know, I was torn on this a little bit. It's like, if she's too fast, does it become OP? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, you get a little nervous depending on the speed of the other team. Uh, Fantastic for team in general outside of Human Torch is generally slow. But uh, if you see my war video with uh, Fantastic Four versus X-Men, they can clearly take out X-Men and war. So if they're too fast, it might make them too OP. So that's where she comes in at, uh, you know, right around, you know, mid-ish tier, a little under mid-ish tier. Um, but her, I think her abilities are really what kind of bring her up uh, as a character. And then again, like I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see all of the Fantastic Four uh, team here. So you've got her down here, which is kind of funny because she's a legendary. But the other four way, they're, to they're all top 20. So it's like stat wise, they're way up, you know, thing being top five in case you missed that video. And then she's way down here, you know, closer to the bottom. So she's not a, you know, game breaking tune, but I really do like her ability. So uh, the health, uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd trade some for the damage, honestly, so she could hit a bit harder. But anyway, having said that, let's look at her, some of her T4s and how they come in. All right. So if you missed my T4 ranking video, uh, I just put that out the other day. So I'm not going to go through these and you know, super deep detail because I talked about them in that, but you know, she's got two abilities in kind of that top echelon in my opinion, which I consider the great. Uh, I've ranked them around the 20th area and you can see that I, some of these I kind of tie cause it's tough to really differentiate, but in that general range her special, this is the one where it's an absolute must. I, I, I struggled whether I'd call the ability upgrade great. It's more, it's well, it's just, you have to do it or the ability doesn't work right. And it's about clearing the negative effects from, um, not just three allies, but everybody, and then applying stealth to not just three people, but everybody other than the highest HP person. So it's like, you have to do that. Uh, so that's why I've got that one that high. The ultimate, apply offense down to everybody instead of three, and then uh, an additional barrier for your team. So I like that. Those two are my top two. Like if you're gonna do it, do those. Uh, the next ones that come up here, the passive, I've got this in the good category. I haven't personally done this one yet. I like the stat gains here, uh, but I just, I haven't done it because I'm the type of person who wants to see how what I can get away with. And uh, I just, I'm trying to avoid the passive to see if they can, you know, how much they can punch up and what they can beat. But this could be one of the first ones that I do it at. So again, it's some increased damage against uh, uh, attacking an enemy and some more max health. And then her basic is, it's, it's, you know, some extra damage. I wouldn't touch this one. I've got it labeled as okay. Uh, and it's, you know, mainly because of the barrier. Uh, the rank there is 155th. I should probably even move that one down, honestly. It's not a great upgrade. So, you know, uh, we'll see. So anyway, let's uh, put these things up into a little bow and get out of here. So that's it. That's the Invisible Woman. Uh, you know, the main thing, like I said, is I did the Envoy video before, but this one's a little bit more about stats. I uh, kind of wanted to share, you know, what I thought she would be. You're going to 
you know, you're gonna, you, you've already probably kind of gathered what you think of her at this point in the game, but I just, uh, I don't know, I, this, to me the stats gotta get out there. So, not a, you know, um, insane level tune, she's not a Captain Marvel, she's not a Phoenix, um, but she does help that Fantastic Four team out, she can come in in other situations, you know, the barrier is nice, um, you know, a lot of things that I think she brings to the table. Would I invest in her? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? I, I was lucky enough to get her seven star. I'll talk about that at another time. Uh, but uh, I think they're a great team for war. I think she's a great character to add to the team, but she's not a, you know, meta breaking tune, at least as far as I've seen or from any of the stats that I'm looking at. So hope this video helped. Uh, as always, you know, uh, click that uh, notification bell, hammer down on that like button, tell your friends, share, etc. $50 videos, you want some, click the link below. Gotta get the 500 likes. I know, I know, I know you want that money because I want to give it to you. So I gotta get the 50, 500 likes first and then you get the 50 bucks. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you guys again soon.